tonight, I'm going to do a talk through of Pinan Sandan and a little bit of a, you know, running through it. And what I won't do is do the whole kata in one go, because then I'll, you look, be all like, look, his foot wasn't 37.5 degrees turned in and his arm was a little bit bent. So I'm just going to talk through and, uh, you know, go through the points that I use as my own kind of learning points. So any, uh, any mistakes or my mistakes, but we have to be self-aware. So if you don't even know what to look for, then how can you improve? The first thing I want to cover is this whole kind of yoi dachi, you know, going from a subidachi to yoi. Uh, your feet are underneath your hips for kind of yoi, for pinan nidan, etc. Uh, pinan kata, but also when you go to kushanku, this is jigotai, so your feet are underneath your shoulders at that point. So normal yoi is this, very wado, nonchalant, not really that fast, as opposed to kind of a big kind of man spread, which we don't need. But also from here, if we do this yoi, as in these two planks here, turn the foot in, go further forward, there's your shizentai. Bend your knee, your back leg, raise your heel up a little bit, not too high up, we're not, wear, you know, we're not wearing high heels in Wado, just a finger or two, said the bishop. So there, that's your um, Nekawashidachi, Shomen Nekawashidachi. So from the side, from here, turn your foot out, practicing uh, no, Shizentai from here, down and up. So your backside is passed in front of your heel, none of this kind of thing. Other styles do that, but this is kind of in between. So there is angle, a space, sorry, in between your feet. And when we do Pinan San on that first move, it's not just a twist and both feet come in line. So that first move, it's all about this core. What do you want to do? You want to move in that direction. And you don't go step out with your foot to then corkscrew in this way. It's about the intention, moving your core, and then also to twist and then drop down as well. So you have to drop and twist and fix, get you into this position. But this position is only transient. Some people might say, oh, your legs are apart, blah, blah, blah. But actually, every stance in Wado is transient from one attack to another. So from here, try to just turn and stop. Okay. So in, in effect, if you wanted to, you could turn to 70 degrees or whatever. We're not predicated to only go here. And this thing where some people say, oh, Gordon, why aren't you looking first to then block, etc." cetera. Um, you know, in real life, we perceive lots of other things happening and you can react based on um, sound, perception, etc. cetera. Um, so it's not a case of we don't look before we turn, but actually, who cares? Because are we really practicing looking? As in, that's part of our practice. Because actually, if we practice looking, I can't see anything and there's nobody there. So it's just a non-starter, isn't it? So anyway, back to this thing. So start off practicing this way. Loose arms. And I mean loose arms. I see people practice this. Way too tense. So loose. And I just turn from here. Turn, and then raise your hands. From here, just relaxed. And then instigate that movement. So it's that kind of core and move. So here, turn, then the foot follows. So when you do sonobari ipontaru, it's not foot, and then punch. The foot comes after the punch because actually you're turning so much that has to move. You're not turning, sorry, placing your foot to then punch. You're not placing the foot to then turn, okay? So once you've done that movement and you step up, this is where you get, uh, you have to then start managing your arms into a good position so they don't get tangled up. What you don't want to do with these blocks is do this kind of windscreen wipe of movement. It's like a bit too much David Brent. So you need to manage 
how they pass and get round each other so then the arms can come to the middle to make a nice good cover. If you just do one arm, comes in, up, Gaiwan, in, out, get on. So you have to time it nicely so they both miss each other but they kind of work around each other. So it's not cheating to kind of maneuver a little bit, that's better to, than having it out here. And this kind of movement comes into Seishang later on, etc. when you walk across yeah, Seishang, but also from Pinang Kata, this or this. So having this, getting used to this position is important for other katas as well. Kind of from Basai, from here, etc. So once we've done this, that side, it's important to then come back as if you're going straight back and then practice this turn. Yeah. So from here, try not to immediately go this way to make that turn easier. So when we break it down, we always try to just get this feeling of coming back to then turn. But when you do it full speed, it's kind of a halfway house. You kind of body naturally follows it around. So think of a Pinan, Midan, so it's not across. Think more coming back first, and then Kedan Brai. So you've done all of this, Palava, then on here as well. This goes towards the front, and then you turn. Yeah. And on the first nook day, I see some people just go too short in the stance because they know they're going to go this way. So make sure when you do nukite, it's the same as a same as Junziki. So commit to that, knowing fine well you're going to go back in that direction. And from this nukite, <clears throat> you can't just bend the arm. You have to imagine somebody's pulling at your arm. So if you bend it, chances are you'll pull yourself towards your opponent. So really, you have to try and pull backwards and really pull them onto you, as if you're kind of trying to pull them onto you. It doesn't matter if it's here, protected coccyx or that, whatever. What you're trying to do, this is Kazushi. This is Kazushi to then come in to attack. So this isn't, you know, just to protect or pull down. Somebody's grabbed your arm and trying to use your weight, your might to pull them off balance to make it easier for you to you come in and come in low, come in at, at an angle to turn to Shikodachi to then break and attack. So just to cover that again, so from here, you are trying, if somebody's grabbing your arm, you are trying to pull them. You are trying to pull them towards you break their balance so they're leaning forward like that for you to then slip inside. This comes in the uh, Kushanku as well later. Slip inside, nice back straight, and then attack. <clears throat> After you've done that, up here, and then into the funky chicken position. <clears throat> so with the funky chicken position, it's not you don't have the arms backwards. You have the Sorry, elbows. Elbows slightly further forward of your lateral side. So from here, so the hands are slightly there. Relaxed. Have this feeling of relaxed and not pull back. And then when you move forward, everything has this feeling of going straight. So don't have this feeling of coming round to cover with the um, with the elbow. Imagine somebody's just held onto your gi as you come forward. They've just pulled it back for you to then cover and attack. So have that feeling that somebody's pulled and kept your elbow back as you come through. So this is relaxed. And when you turn your body quickly, this stops. It's like those barn doors that have two, two halves. This stops whilst this is loose and comes, th comes through. So from here, Comes through. So this is not basic, it's not symmetrical. This comes across 
but actually it doesn't want to be in this position. I have a feeling that this is overstretched. This is overstretched and it wants to come back to attack. So that's a feeling. Come through straight. This swings so much it kind of loose, covers and blocks, and return to attack. Obviously, in, in practice, this can come off the body to guide, deflect, and then attack. But it's that ability to come through, stop, and this is loose to attack, and not just like a loose, funky chicken. So when you do the sequence of three, it shouldn't look like you're coming round and round. Have that feeling that everything feels as if it's coming straight. Everything straight and straight. Yeah. When you get to the end, to attack. Um, no, it's the other way. Boom. Stand up straight. Then try and go as straight across there as you can. So it's not round and round. Have a feeling. Straight, straight, straight. Then back to Yame, so this is in Jigotai, back to Yodachi, so the right foot comes in. That's the main points for Pinan Sandan for consideration.